That would scare me to death with him being out near the highway. Take a look at this video. Someone driving on US 41 recorded something soaring just above the tree line in Estero this morning. And then watch this. All of a sudden, the aircraft does a nosedive behind those trees. The good news is they didn't crash, but it did give those drivers a scare. Tonight, NBC2's Gage Golding is investigating what that was and if they're even allowed to do it. Up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Well, it's not quite that. It's a super cool and maybe even super dangerous thing. Powered paragliding. It's using a paraglider uh, that you put a motor on your back. Paul Sarnecki is a retired power gliding instructor out of Punta Gorda. It is by far the simplest form of aviation. There's no instruments. It's just what's between your ears. What this person was doing during the morning commute on Thursday had some people blowing steam out of their ears. Watch this. The pilot looks like they're nose diving into the trees. He came real close. That that was a near miss. How can you drive on 41 when you're looking at that? <laughs> That's a great question. While it turns out it's legal to fly these things, it's not legal to fly them over people or populated areas. Well, 41 here in Estero, populated is an understatement. You're not supposed to scare anybody. You're not supposed to be a hazard. You're not supposed to fly over cities, towns, settlements, or open areas of people as well. That's according to the FAA. Paul would know after 15 years as an instructor. He also knows that this diving dip isn't a grand idea. He cut back toward the trees and toward the power line. It could easily lead somebody to believe that he had an accident there. So here's the deal with power paragliding. Anyone can buy one of these machines called a paramotor. They cost around 6,000 bucks. As for the rules... The first rule uh, is basically that th there is no license required. And they're basically self-regulated. Now, these aren't all that uncommon here in southwest Florida. Back in February, this power paraglider was spotted skimming the water in Cape Coral. Seeing it over the water would be fine. Yeah. Driving and seeing it is another story. And definitely doing this is just as distracting as it is dangerous. If you fly unsafe, you maybe only fly once. Reporting local tonight along US-41 in Estero, Gage Golding, NBC2.